uh, we fought an election with our bank accounts frozen right now i don't know i mean i, I don't know any democracy where that's happened maybe uh, you know that type of thing happens in a syria or used to happen in iraq but we literally sat during our election and spoke to our treasurer and he says well we have no money right now you can have a resilient voter you still need to run campaigns you still need to have conversations you still need to have meetings right i've got uh, 20 plus cases in me i'm the only person uh, in indian history to get a prison sentence for defamation right uh, we have a chief minister who's in jail right now so i mean one way of saying it is yes the indian voter is very resilient and you know he stands he stands like a rock absolutely he does but the indian voter requires an architecture to 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 work on which but, is which is not there but would you say that indian democracy is resilient and it can't be broken well i can say to you that indian democracy for the last 10 years was broken but it's and on it's on a upward trajectory it's fighting back but it was broken i have i have seen uh, the the government of maharashtra just being taken away from us so i've seen it with my own eyes i've i've watched it as our legislators have been bought in and 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 hooked off and suddenly became bjp legislators so uh indian democracy has been under attack has been very badly weakened and now uh it's fighting back and i'm confident that it will fight back 